Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Radical Red episode 2. I'm in Viridian City right now because apparently Viridian City is the only place you can go to to make your Pokemon follow you. Like this guy right here just dictates whether or not Pokemon can follow you. It's kind of weird. I started recording uh, up in Pewter City and Cyndaquil just wasn't following me anymore. So I was like, wait, huh? How do I make it follow me again? And anything I've seen so far just says to talk to the guy in Viridian City. So that, that kind of sucks a little bit, but hey, whatever. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I might just have to deal with Cyndaquil not following me if uh, between turning off and the game, turning the game off and on again, he just goes back in his ball. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, welcome back to Radical Red episode two. This is us revisiting Radical Red. If of course you're enjoying the series, uh, go ahead and leave a like on it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support as always. Really do appreciate it. Now, I actually completely forgot to mention last episode. I think I was just like preoccupied with trying to do a good job at introducing the series. We started Emerald Crest and then we stopped it very very quickly and uh, i was really looking forward to making that like the series for a little while but like upon like actually i don't know like i did i recorded that episode two and i discovered the game is very very buggy and on top of that i i feel like i need to like have have some like stakes to make like the series worthwhile watching because it feels very like um i don't know i don't know what the, what the word is it feels like a really good base rom for like a really like a, a really like a nice banger video and i think that was kind of just it you know like like it was really it, like the novelty wore off really fast like yeah it's an open world emerald with pokemon up to generation 8 and they follow you and then it's like okay so i'm gonna battle the gyms out of order and it just that didn't seem like enough of like a cool uh, i guess gimmick to warrant making a full series on it could maybe be a cool one-off video so i decided to leave it at two episodes and we're just gonna revisit radical red for now uh because that's what i'm kind of interested in i think radical red inclement emerald unbound have been like some of my fan favorites uh, and also just you know some of your fan favorite and also my favorite games to play just because like they're harder but over here at the hoodcal channel we don't really get caught up with nuzlocks and stuff like that so this is this is how it's gonna go i'm, I'm probably not gonna continue playing animal's crest if i do i might just do like a, a final like because I, what i actually wanted to do was i wanted to make like a third video uh using all the settings and one of the settings was to randomize the type chart or like the type effectiveness chart but like whenever i tried to turn it on it just straight up didn't do it so i uh, like i was gonna make a video randomizing the type chart and, and being like oh look how wacky this is water is super effective on grass but like it, it just didn't work so then at that point i was just like nah man this game is way too buggy uh if you guys want me to i could check out pokemon rawe um i know rawe did it first uh, i i have not actually played rawe before either way we're playing this game uh let's focus on this game i love talking your ear off don't i uh, i think all there is for me to do is train or um let me let me get some running shoes nope okay i guess oh, wait i've already got running shoes too i'm insane i don't be thinking man kids nowadays are cracked back in my day you'd be king of the playground if you even had a need reno at my son's age my kids running around with a sheer force nido king wah ha 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 okay that's actually kind of that's actually kind of awesome i won't lie you're a trainer aren't you i have an egg sent to me by a friend and even he doesn't know where it's from uh 5k i think i did have 5k but i just spent on pokeballs uh i did not check out the museum oh okay all right yeah sure take drag me over there wait wasn't there like a battle in the museum i'm pretty sure am i thinking of something else no falconer's in here okay i am right hmm doesn't seem to be any information on megastones oh hi there i'm falconer a gym leader from johto i'm traveling to encanto looking for information on mega evolution but i have found nothing so far the battles what you're looking for i guess i could spare the time i'll demonstrate the power of the elegant bird pokemon okay well he's a little bit low down there oh wait is this new music yo leader falconer three pokemon rufflet uh okay level 13 i like that sprite though you know he's he's a baby uh all right let's just let's just use amber the old faithful can never go wrong that did a lot slash slash brother dude are you trying to kill me jesus christ fucking slash what are you ghost face jesus oh he's fat bro where did where did your speed come from i was faster than you last turn bro Okay, well, surely you wouldn't have any coverage for a rock type Pokemon, right? Okay, he's using Roost. That's, yeah. Rock Blast has become uh, one of my favorite moves in recent time, actually. Uh, in VGC, I was trying out uh, Rock Blast, Lycanroc next to Tyranitar. And the usual set for Rock Blast, Lycanroc is like Focus Ash, uh, Endeavor. Uh, but I was trying one out with Endure, and uh, that was a lot of fun. It was an Endure one, and it had Rock Blast. Well, actually, you know, use Rock Slide on Lycanroc usually. But I was trying a Rock Blast Endure one instead, because Rock blast plus loaded dice uh 
KOs Flutter main, unless it's like a bulky variant, I think. But yeah, like Rock Blast has become one of my favorite moves because like, it's just a gamble. Like after three Rock Blasts, you're doing the same damage as Rock Slide. I see we've got five Rock Blasts, so we just kill it. Nice. Of course, Rock Slide, the one of the biggest benefits is it hits both and it can flinch. But yeah, Rock Blast is really, really fun. Uh, so we're without Cyndaquil. Uh, we're gonna deal with Carve Squire. I, I reckon Chad can take this. It might have Steel Wing though. Phone Claws. Oh God, okay. It didn't see the KO, so it started setting up, obviously. Nice, big damage. Get three, get three. Two. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's healing. Okay. Oh, cure. G give me four. Oh, okay, just two. Surely we don't get one shot. What, Rock Smash? Okay, that's that's reasonable. No defense drop. We got weak armor though. So yes, defense drop. Speed sharply rose. I don't know if we don't speed it now, actually. I mean, maybe. Yo, I was about to, I was about to wait. I was about to be like, wait, does Rock Blast just hit one time? No. All right, we're good. All right, with my weak armor and Molga. Oh my God, where's your nose? We're not faster still, unlucky. I don't think we take that. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, let's try Munch out. I mean, I know it's a flying type. Also, I love how you said bird Pokemon. He's just using a Molga. Yeah, okay. I thought I'd maybe have some sort of status move, but apparently not. Yeah, we're just, okay. Brother. Uh, yeah, we just lose this, I reckon. Jesus Christ. Give me the Omni Boost. No, nope, even an Omni Boost wouldn't save me. I don't know when I did it, but at some point I must have nudged my emulator and made the frame size even smaller because that's it that's it fixed <laughs> i don't know when i did that that's probably where emolga's nose went my bad bros all right well this time we obviously just lead with chad and then we just i'm gonna save so i don't lose money of course you just got rock smash just let it rip bro just let it rip is loaded dice in this name game i i don't think so because i think they said they're doing gen 9 updates like later um yeah okay i'm not sure rock and roller lead oh crit okay i'll take it i'll create it and of course you heal i think we need to hit four times oh maybe even maybe even more to come on on three come on okay nah man no shot uh we're not even faster than it still jesus christ dude never mind emolga's nose is still gone this thing just spams rock smash dude there was one run where it just didn't use rock smash that was nice but like even after using like I, i'm just i'm never able to hit more than five like more than three times yeah i just hit twice dude come on now is this game weighted against me oh it missed how did it miss i guess it just always uses rock smash but it can just sometimes miss i don't get that at all uh, okay, well, okay, now we start using Roost, okay. Maybe we can kill it this way. Finally, it would not stop surviving Roost. Corvus Wire comes in. All right, I'm just gonna sack a useless Pokemon just to get rid of the defense. Wait, no, we didn't get hit, so we don't have the defense drop. Whatever, ignore me. Yes, I'm just gonna send it back in. Just hit it five times, please. Two, let's go. Okay, one more, just one more time. No, okay. If Rock and Roller always strikes out, man. All right, Corvus Wire is gone though. Now we've just got this Amolga to beat. That's fine. We have Cyndaquil alive for this at least. I'm just gonna use Ember. Oh God, this can't flinch. It just has a high crit rate. Yes. I think that crit genuinely screwed me. Dude, this is... Jesus Christ, dude. I decided I'm gonna catch myself a Fampy. Uh, not for any counter teaming reasons. I just, I heard Fampy's cry earlier and uh, I'm actually watching Chugga Conroy again lately. I've just been watching him play uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and also obviously his Black 2 series that he's dropped right now. That shit's fire, man. All right, I didn't realize I didn't, realize I didn't change. I'll make this timid, a timid Sinistee. Cool. Is this the guy? This game's difficult. You can seem unfair to casual players. Feel free to check out other ROM hacks that utilize an updated engine like Unbound, Dream, GS Chronicles and Flame Down Red or Inclement Emerald. Wow, he's finally not as much of a jerk. Yo, this thing learns Ice Shard this early? I thought this was an egg move. Oh my god, I will take that. I wasn't paying attention and Cyndaquil found me a big nugget. Fair. Thanks, Cyndaquil. Also, I have a nugget, so wow, okay. Uh, we can actually afford that egg now. You know what? Why not? When in Rome. It's it's on Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil takes the uh takes the bill. Thanks, Cyndaquil. Oh wait, I just realized. Wait, hold on. Can I I can access this place? I can go to Diglett's cave already? Can I encounter any Pokemon? What's this? Thief? Okay. That's interesting. Oh wow, there's actually Pokemon in here. Diglett, of course. Yo, Panjam's in here? That's kind of cool, actually. Panjam would definitely be a good pickup for the first gym. So the way pickup works in this game, uh, it immediately puts whatever uh the pickup pokemon finds in your bag so for example fampy found an antidote and a max repel for me so far just from grinding on these pokemon that's pretty good actually it's a really good just constantly having to remember to take the item off is definitely like a downside to it so this game just removes that completely all right let's hatch this egg then and see what it is i imagine it's probably one of the starters from like a random region oh grookey okay not good for Faulkner, but it's definitely good for uh, Misty and Brock. Uh, Grookey's definitely one of the starters I've not had the chance to use as much as others, so I will absolutely take a Grookey. Let's check it out. Naive, Grassy Surge too, bruh. All right, that's actually that's 
that's actually crazy. And there we have Magnitude. This is actually a really tough choice because Magnitude's a nice ground move, but the fan scroll rollout is actually kind of clutch. And then Rapid Spin's good for hazards. And then Ice Shard, I've kind of got like a... I, I think we'll just drop the fan scroll. And if we're going to do rollout, we'll just run raw rollout. Uh, I don't know though, actually. Hold on. I guess we'll have to worry about move relearning later. I was about to change my mind and then run defense call rollout for this upcoming battle. Uh, it's whatever. All right. I've leveled up my team up to level 15, except from the newly hatched Grookey. But I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. We might have to counter team properly more, but man, I'm trying my best. Okay. Let's just try opening up with uh, Chugga with the, with the rollouts. I don't know if we'll be able to take it out. Yeah. Yeah. So he's doing some damage now. And oh, okay. He just aerializes me. Sick. So I guess Pickup has an in battle. I picked up Berry Juice after it used its Citrus Berry. That's interesting. Yeah, okay. That wasn't the best run. I've got an idea. I'll switch into Grookey. Get the Grassy Surge up. I was hoping it would just kill me. All right, whatever. I'll fake out. All right, now we'll go back into Chad. Now that we've got some healing. Can we, like, outlive it now? I guess we probably can't because... Why do we just get three every single time? I don't think we've ever gotten four at this point. Yeah, because of the defense drop, because of weak armor. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I finally got four. Dude, I feel like that's the first time that's ever happened. Jesus Christ. Razor Leaf. Um, oh, Razor Leaf's 100% accurate in this game. Jesus. Okay. Harvest Squire. I'm going to Rock Blast because I... Oh, no, no. He's Rock Smashing me. Okay. Let's go into Bonk Choi. Just so Fampy can have the Grassy Surge. I'm going to taunt it. Yeah, that's exactly why, dude. Go ahead and kill me. That's fine. Now we're going to just go for rollouts. Ah, he's going to switch out into... Okay, Emolga. I don't know if Emolga can do much else and i have fucking i missed my first rollout dude let's go air cutter has a high crit ratio let's go air cutter crit let's go dude this is bullshit i have received so much hacks against this guy he's switching out again for some reason oh i guess he was taunted so he wanted to set up second rollout stage nice home claws just land just land this rollout dude just land this rollout please please thank you now we just gotta deal with this emolga don't crit me don't Thank you. Nice. Let's go. All it took was a fampy. Thank you for the wonderful battle. Cal is it. I hope we meet again. I don't have a badge to give, unfortunately, but I hope you can have this. Roost. Cool. I probably won't be using it, but thank you. I'm starting to doubt that uh, Grookey is truly random because like, I, I feel like that Grookey is like too well placed for, for what we're about to go up against. And we're about to go up against Brock. I, I mean, I could be, I'm happy to be wrong. Oh wait, you're following me now? Huh? Okay, cool. Wait. Yeah, you can have an arm berry. All right. Well, Grookey the level cap. I think we can take on Brock safely now. Seems this is your first gym challenge, so I'm responsible for informing you of the rules. Accuracy reducing moves and evasion raising effects have been removed from this game. But John Pass is removed from this game. Sleep clause is in effect, meaning you can only one Pokemon per team can be put to sleep at a time. Oko moves can, are removed from the game. Uh, the bag is inaccessible during boss battles. There's a soft level cap before each boss, which reduces the EXP gain significantly. When the level cap is reached, Pokemon will disobey when leveled too far above the level cap. Consumable held items come back after trainer battles. Battle style is forced to set. You cannot thief items from trainers. You are automatically healed to full in most battles to prevent certain exploits. Okay. Uh, if you want me to reiterate the rules, just talk to me again. Okay. That makes sense. Hisuian Growlithe. Okay. That's kind of a, that's kind of a crazy counter. Okay. Uh, I'll just Razor Leaf this. I don't think this kills. Yep. And this thing's holding an Orin Berry, bro. These fuckers are stacked. Well, oh, the Razor Leaf crit. Nice. Drill Burr. This one should be fine. Easy clap. So I think we're healed up right before battle, right? Also, something I just realized, I'm pretty sure Sure, the game doesn't count speed up button and only I could be wrong. Maybe not actually one hour 30. Mm. Yeah, I feel like the game just counts like how long you've actually physically been playing for, which is actually really smart. Taking speed up button into account. Uh, okay, I don't know who to lead with. Uh, I feel like Bonk Shui might just be like a safe lead. I don't actually know what Brock's team is, so let's just give it a shot, man. Geodude! The classic Geodude. I think we just go for Razor Leaf. I feel like Fake Out is just... Yep, I'm glad I'm not using Fake Out. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Vulpix switch. Okay, so that's something to learn. I'm gonna just switch into Cyndaquil and see what goes on. Incinerate. Okay, that burns berries. That's fine. I don't have any items. Crit, dude. Nice. I went for Ember, forgetting it probably has Flash Fire. My bad. I'm a bit distracted. Burn, 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 baby. No, okay. Let's just start this over. I can't miss clicking. All right, assuming he's going to switch to Vulpix, we can switch to Chugga. Actually, Chugga is probably a better lead for this. Whatever, let's Magnitude, baby. Hit him hard grass. That actually might. Uh, okay, no, it, it's probably hit him hard ice. Magnitude 7, that's a pretty big one. That didn't even, that didn't even kill, dude. Jesus Christ. I live on two. I have berry juice, apparently, or an orange berry, I guess. Magnitude 7 again. Ah, uh, yeah, Magnitude. Magnitude's weakened because of Grassy Surge, right? I thought it was just Earthquake, but I think Magnitude might be affected too. Let's try this again. Let's just fire up a Magnitude. This killing doesn't... I mean, I have Sturdy. Okay, Sturdy. Yep. What are you, what, what are you as a Geodude going to do? Oh, Bulldoze? Okay, fair. I'm going to Ice Shard this. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. 
Okay, interesting. Onyx comes in. Nice dice hard. Now Onyx isn't that strong, so I don't have to be threatened by this. I'm just gonna magnitude again. They really want me to be slow for some reason. I'm literally a fan you guys. Magnitude 5 is not gonna do anything for damage. Yeah. Give me a big roll. Magnitude 6. That's a bit better. All right, now when he least expects it, magnitude 10. Come on, when he least expects it, magnitude 10. You got this. I just keep picking up items from them. Pickup's got a big use in this game, I guess. I don't know if that's main series as well or just this game, but all right, that did a lot more damage. I don't think I shard kills, unfortunately, so I'll just go for another bulldoze. Vampy is tanking this well, though. Nice. Archin. Uh, I'm just gonna go for an ice shard to try and bring you down to defeat his range as soon as possible. Nice. Almost there. Not quite enough, though. Unfortunately, I think we die. Oh, okay. I shard again. Nice. Defeat his range. Oh, wait. Does the berry bring him back up over it? No. Okay, not quite. Bro, the fact that I lived that is hilarious. The fact that I lived that, this, this, oh, and we picked up an arrow. That's crazy. What? That is craziness. Bro, this Brock is fuming at this at this thing right now. And the fact that I've got I've got an orange berry, that's crazy. Volpix is here. Uh, okay, this is actually an issue for her. I mean, I guess I'll, I mean, I'm slower, obviously. I, I, I've got plenty. I've got I've, OK, I've got other Pokemon to deal with this. Let's just take the Al here. That's fine. Chug out, you did more than you needed to, man. I'm gonna go into Chad here. And then we're just gonna hit him with the Rock Blast. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is hidden power grass, right? Yeah, okay. That does a lot of damage. Just kill this thing, please. Okay, I just need this thing to die. Yes, good one. And then we've got this thing right here. It's faster than me, okay. Oh wait, I lived? I genuinely thought I was dead there. And we beat Rock. Wow, that was actually so much easier than Falconer. Got a Rock Tomb for that, thank you. Bless. I was trying to figure out how pickup had changed, but I didn't see anything about it on like the changing. It's just got like a new pickup table, so. I guess like after uh, one of the Pokemon uses like an orange berry, I guess I pick up the scraps of the orange berry or whatever. Like the Pokemon are eating it with like just like in such a hurry that they like leave scraps of it on the floor. Then I just pick it up or something. I guess that's how that works. I don't know. Uh, anyways, cool. We beat the first gym and we beat Falconer. I don't remember if there's like, was there more to this museum or am I thinking of a different ROM hack? I feel like I must be thinking of a different ROM hack. I feel like I, I feel like I remember fighting a boss here. I don't know. <laughs> What ROM hack am I thinking of, man? Why is this Grookey so huge, man? All right, well, we beat Brock, so... Oh, hey, Cal. Yo, what's up? Glad I was able to find you. Normally, I'd be able to spend your gift uh, from your mother, but it appears she doesn't love you in this game anyway. Uh, the professor wanted me to give you the Dynamax band. Okay, thank you. It obviously allows you to Dynamax, although it can only be done in raid battles. You can find them by taking on raid dens. Take these as well. These force Pokemon to respawn at raid dens. Okay, wishing pieces. Yep, thanks. Funny your mother doesn't love you joke. Thanks, man. I already know. Why are you facing the wall? Are you are you good? Yo, excuse me. You looked at me, didn't you? Well, I mean, I kind of kind of stand out You're just fucking standing staring at the wall oh my god look at Nidoran it's so chunky I remember playing this with Lotad on stream a couple years ago as well and we like what did we come what, what did we come here to grind me out for I forget did they just did they have an item that we wanted I feel like we came here to grind me out for like hours on end I don't remember why though I think we were using thief on them Nick it oh god I need I, I, okay let me let me look it up pokedex I wanted to see if they maybe buffed to Nick it in any way. It does not. I mean, did they give him? They might have given him better stats, actually. Yeah, special attack went from 87 to 97. The speed went from 90 to 110. So, wow, he's actually a pretty, like, he's not, like, broken or anything, but, like, he's actually got really good speed. 110 speed is nothing to laugh at. Oh, yeah, we're getting a Quilava now. I forgot you evolved to level 16 in this game. Let's see what this sprite looks like. Are you looking spicy? Uh, it just seems to be the regular Quilava sprite. That's okay, though. Quilava was one of my favorite Pokemon for the longest yo you are you are long bro subway eat fresh am i right guys I, I love this mon dude why do i keep accidentally nudging i don't know what i keep doing but it, it keeps like changing the size of my game it's so annoying oh i'm gonna miss grookey grookey is so cute although i do really really like thwacky thwacky is uh my favorite out of the evolution line i think but that sprite of grookey he was so cute i can't lie all right thwacky what are you looking like yeah okay you look much better in 3d i won't lie to you but i still like you my boy learns drain punch jesus christ Right, okay. Will O Wisp already at your young level? Jesus Christ. Okay. Dude, older, like, like older gen. I don't know if this is the same learn set or if it's a custom learn set for Sinisty, but like, what's the, what's it called? Like the, the creep in like viability for competitive battle for like later gen mons is real. Like Kanto mons had like nothing on these guys. It's, it's kind of crazy to see, but it makes sense. If every Pokemon was just the same, like tackle, Leer, Earthquake, it would be boring. So like, I'm really glad that they're like, I mean, one of my favorite things about Gen 9 Pokemon was that like every Mon had its own gimmick. Bro, Radica, Radita, bro, I, bro, are you, Radica, whoa, bruh, hello, are you good? That is not a normal looking rat. 
To any aspiring ROM hackers out there, I'm on my hands and knees begging. Please, if you put Tinkerton in your Pokemon ROM hack, please do not give it huge power. It is different from Mawile. We do not need to make it a Mawile reskin, okay? Thank you. I I, I swear to God, bro. I, please. Tinkerton doesn't need to have a higher attack stat. It really doesn't. It's a great utility Pokemon. It's a great support Pokemon. Gigaton Hammer, like evens the playing field with how low its attack stat is. It doesn't need to have a higher attack stat. Please, please, just, just please. You're learning extra sensory, my crazy boy. Oh, there's a TM down here. Teleport. Oh, okay. You can uh, warp to the last Pokemon Center you were at. That's really useful. Oh yeah, let's use, uh, let's give Rock Tomb to Fampy so it's a bit more consistent. Same with Rock and Roller. Let's give you Rock Tomb. It's, I, I do like Rock Blast. I do. Yeah, I'll keep Rock Blast for now. None of my Pokemon can learn Thief. Unlucky. All right, let's move forward some more. This boy's an accordion. Ah, our first Dynamax then. Oh Jesus, Thwacky is. This is, this is scary. Big monkey following me. Do you still sell Magikarp? Yeah, sure, I'll buy it why not man wait hold on wait my favorite kid couldn't get enough of magikarp huh you want another one for 75 grand watch it be shiny watch it be a shiny one i will totally do that whenever i have money don't let me forget guys all right oh my god magikarp sprite has changed <laughs> that's really cool actually he calls me an idiot but gyarados is a really solid pokemon so um I'm not an idiot. 500 Poké Dollars isn't even that much. All right, it looks to be a Nidoran. Cool, let's take it on. Oh, we'll select three Pokemon. Oh, okay. I only selected one and then I was like, okay, I'm ready. All right, three Pokemon. Dynamax, Nidoran. Oh my God, he's huge. Look at the size of his throat, man. He's a big boy. I kind of wish he stayed massive in the in the battle the battle screen. That would be great. All right, I can Dynamax. Uh, wait. Oh, this shows me if there's a Trick Room or no weather, no terrain, no Aurora Veil. That's cool. Uh, so I press plus, I can, try, I can Dynamax. All right, Dynamax Max Quake, dude, let's do it. Flame Burst does a decent bit of damage. He's gonna Max Strike the Palava. Good, good, good. Not me, not me. How about Max Quake, my friend? Oh, uh, bra, 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 bra. How did you, how did that do, how did that do little? How did that do nothing? Whatever, dude. Oh, his shield went up. I forgot about shields. Honestly, I forgot about shields. Max Ooze. We got Spidef buffs. To be fair though, I don't know if it's a physical or special. Okay, seems to be physical there. Special attack rose. I think this Max Quake should kill it. Easy. Okay, dog, I, I forgot how Dynamaxing works, man. I, I'm so used to Terra Raid battles at this point. The the shield stuff in Dynamax battles were so annoying, dude. They were they were so annoying. It's honestly still annoying in uh in Terra Raid battles, but I think it's a little bit easier to manage. All right, catch this Nido Man, why not? Sheer Force Nido King, can't let that small child in pewter city outdo me i want i want to i want a sheer force nido king got some orange berries some stardust some 18 muscle wings oh that's some some evs chesto berries coba berries berry juices well cool. pass this symbol trial of mine and i'll give you a nice little prize yeah let's do it oh i gotta save the game too oh jesus okay uh oh wait what huh oh okay oh okay i see what's going on here focus sash oh wow Jesus Christ. Echoes of Shadow Sneak shoot dangers with focus sashes. Wait, one of them has boots. Wait, this is my team? Wait, huh? So do I just have I just have to figure I just have to figure out how to do this then I guess. That's actually really cool. Okay. Select three from the six Pokemon that I provide you. I assure you that among these choices, I guarantee path to victory. The order I send in my Pokemon will not stay consistent and I will not manually switch. Uh okay. I get to choose three. So I I genuinely think we need Skarmory with sturdy, right? And then Aaron with Roar. One of them has boots which i was gonna use gale wings but this thing doesn't have gale wings okay i, I got this skarm aaron and then we'll do rough skin gibble i think that's it sorry you hear md he's he's being a little monkey all right go down to 30 set up some sneaky pebbles let it kill me go into aaron roar bog all right this will uh one of them has boots on but that's fine drag that shudinja dead dead shudinja bye bye dead shudinja bye bye just three more yippers all right two more yep okay last one's got boots oh what do we do about this rough skin gibble baby good boy gibble good boy rough skin baby that was a really cool little uh puzzle to figure out i like that i was like worried it was gonna be so much harder than it was cool we got the poke vial you can use it six times but i'll get healed by uh nurture refills it Oh, okay six times is actually a lot of times jesus wow okay i was also told to come down here i'm working on a prototype for a time changing device sure you could find this useful uh i could teach it to you uh, if you can handle some trivia. Yeah, sure. Which of this, these do not have a night specific evolution? I'm um, pretty sure it's Pancham, yeah? Yep. What time did night time encounter start? Uh, 8 p.m., right? What? Honestly, the nighttime encounters are so stupid. All right, Pancham. Wait, night? Does it really start at 5 p.m.? That 
Okay, that's a trick question. Uh, when is the final version of Radical Red coming out? Uh, I'm gonna say never. I guess you don't miss. All right, here you go. Cool. Radical Red is always in beta, baby. All right, we've got the time changer. To use the time changer, press L to bring up your skills. Use it and choose the time of day to change to. Note that you'll be stuck in that time of day until you click reset option or change to another time of day. All right, well, there we go. I Is that all of them? Cool. I didn't think we'd get them all this early. Oh, yeah, I forgot. While I'm in Pallet Town, I actually got a comment saying that uh, apparently you can enter codes at the beginning of the game. Uh, so would you like to put in a cheat code? I asked what these codes were because I was genuinely curious. Now, I've backed up my save file because uh, I don't want to enter these if, uh, if, if, if they're things that I don't actually want to apply to my game. So Waya Op is apparently... Rare candy cheat has been set. Talk to the youngster in Viridian City. Oh, God, okay. Um, there's another one called so2 toxic what does this one do care package cheat code has been set this is a care package that helps uh, i give you items as you progress through different routes dex all this one allows every okay let's do dex all dex all seems like the only one i'm like super interested in because like the rare candy cheat just feels like a bit i don't know i mean i guess if we're hitting level cap anyway i guess as long as the rare candies don't let me go above level cap like that's all i really care about but yeah dex no cheat has been set i don't know if there's any more but that's all that was given to me dex all genuinely seems uh, useful though because i've already played radical red before it just means i don't have to it, 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 yeah basically like it makes it so i can see everything that lives here already and i don't have to run through the route uh because one of the biggest things that lotad and i were complaining about uh, well, I say complaining about Lotad and I were having a little bit of a chin wag and he said he's not as big of a fan of the game now because it feels like there's just a lot of bloat in the game and I, I've not played it. So, but like, I, I, I get what he's saying and I, I kind of like, there's just so much feet. Like there's just too many features almost like what it was before was maybe <laughs> was maybe a little bit less overwhelming, a little bit easier to take in. Uh, I, I do think there is quite a lot of bloat at this point uh, in the game. And uh, I mean, the fact that they're even going to add gen nine mons, I'd I don't know how, man. Something I thought about, one thing I really do like about Emerald Rogue, and I know I bring up Emerald Rogue a lot. It's my favorite ROM hack, and I think it does a lot of things right. Emerald Rogue has this, like, uh, you can, like, choose, like, you can basically limit, sort of, like, the amount of Pokemon that you see. You, so you can see only Gen 1 Pokemon, or you can see only Gen 2 Pokemon, and vice versa. And you can also do regional decks, and that could be an option. They could make it so, like, there was, like, a regional decks or something, or Lotad had an idea about having, like, a randomizer, but, like, have it pull from like so like you know if you're if there's like a regional bird on the route have it just pull from like one of the regional birds one of the eight regional birds i don't know because there is a lot of pokemon in this game but uh having this dex nav cheat code i feel like just makes it playable <laughs> because yeah there are far too many there are far too many encounters like there are just far too many pokemon is it this guy no the youngster where is he wait oh viridian city oh i thought okay see the comment said the code is uh why are all this code has to do with the kid in Viridian City that you called a troll. Okay, I thought he was talking about the, the guy at the start that I like that I wasn't like happy about how he was like, this game is for scrubs. Or well, not this game, but Pokemon games usually are for scrubs, is what I'm over explaining again. Oh, this guy? Yeah, I know what's up. I guess you you're in the know. Take these. Oh, okay. So it's just it's just rare candies, like just okay. Oh, a hundred palm egg berries. Oh, I can just take them as much as I want, huh? Honestly, I think I'll leave uh these cheat codes up to you guys uh like i said i backed up my save file and like i um so like i was just reading into it and the the item the the care package one for the item drops i think it basically just guarantees that like i get like i think like everything you can get or something from like raid drops it basically just makes like grinding for things easier and i think that is welcome for me since i have already played radical red before and i mean rare candies like i probably won't use them until i'm going to need to be at the level cap anyway if that makes sense like if i'm about to fight misty and i need to grind i'll just i'll use the rare candies then i'm not going to use them to hit level cap before going through mount moon for example uh so yeah these are um these are welcome for me i'm honestly not going to complain but uh it just depends what do you guys think do you guys think uh i should use i mean i'm definitely going to use the decks now one that's non-negotiable i mean i do the grinding off screen anyway if i even if i use rare candies or not you guys would be none the wiser i want to test this raid drop thing ah uh the meow two of them two of them orange berries muscle 26 muscle wings oh jesus okay so i seem to be able to consistently steal things from jigglypuff here uh every time i've battled it so far uh yep again another orange berry let's get another one see i think it's like 95 orange berry five percent moonstone maybe or something i don't know but yeah i mean every every jigglypuff I've, i don't know if that's just i don't know if that's because of the cheat code i entered or what but that's that seems to be what it's alluding to 
Anyways, yeah, let me know your thoughts, I suppose. I'll save this game for now, but uh, I, I have a backup of my original one if you guys have any huge objections. Well, uh, I think that's what we're going to call this episode. Part of me is like, man, I really didn't do that much today because I spent like over half the episode trying to beat Falconer. But um, not every episode has to have like mountains and mountains of progress. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't be afraid to leave a like and comment and uh, show me your support. Let me know you want me to continue the series and stuff. Uh, I'm going to go pee now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>